I'd like to look at an application of continuity and I'd like to look at the function f of x equals x cubed minus 1. And I'd like to point out that this function is continuous everywhere. All polynomial functions would be continuous everywhere. There are no danger spots. And I'll put up a, a rough graph of this function. So this is like x cubed but shifted down one unit. So it has a y-intercept down at negative 1. And it looks something like this. And we're focusing on the interval 0 to 3. So let's imagine that 3 is, um, well, to draw this in a way that looks anywhere close to being drawn by scale, I guess, or drawn to scale, 3 would be somewhere out there because x equals 1 is right here. And so we're looking at the interval 0 to 3. Now, the the intermediate value theorem says that if we look at f of 0 and f of 3 and we get 0 cubed minus 1 which is negative 1 and we get for f of 3 3 cubed minus 1 which is 26 the intermediate value theorem says that if we pick any value m between negative 1 and 26 we can find an x value between 0 and 3, such that f of that value gives us the number m. So suppose, for example, that we want m to equal 2, let's say. Let's look at finding a c value in 0 to 3, such that f of c equals 2. The intermediate value theorem guarantees us that such a thing exists. This curve is increasing from negative 1 to 26. It has to pass through 2 at some point. Okay, and so here would be our work for this. So we could say f of c is c cubed minus 1, which we want to equal the m value of 2. So c cubed equals 3, and so c is the cubed root of 3, and the cubed root of 3 is approximately the following. It's approximately 1.442, which of course is on the interval 0 to 3, like the intermediate value theorem guaranteed us we could achieve. And so typically, a problem like this in your textbook might say something like um, apply the conclusion of the intermediate value theorem to find a c value such that f of c equals 2, where we, we've chosen capital M to equal 2. So that concludes the main tutorial here, and we have two further examples that parallel the sorts of things that we've just looked at.